Hi everybody, welcome to Jill and Beauty Therapy. We're having a wig chat today. We're taking a look at not one, but two wigs today. Two very different styles and two different brands. I think this is gonna be fun. I'm super excited. I have not put these on my head yet. So these are truly first impressions and right out of the box. The very first one we're looking at here is called Drive. It's by Ellen Villa, and it's from the Perucci Collection. Now, what I have heard, I've, I've watched reviews on this, and I don't know why this sort of just now caught my eye, but the thing that I heard time and time again, which you probably did as well, is that the density of this is so good, meaning it is a low density style, and if you're into that, you're gonna to wanna to take a peek at this. First of all, holy cow, this color is beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the second style we're gonna be looking at because it's in Shaded Biscuit. It's by Raquel Welch, but look at how similar. So this color is called Pearl Blonde rooted it does have a root but it's a very very soft very soft root i have found that ellen villa does their rooting really beautifully this is very soft it is more of a shaded sort of root so for those of you that it, it bothers you to have kind of a darker root you might want to take a look at this color it is absolutely gorgeous so let's take a look at this cap the fibers are brand new, of course, and they feel absolutely silky and beautiful and very realistic. Let's take a look at this cap. So right away, we can see that we have a middle part here. We have a tiny little area where we can just kind of set it off center a little bit either way. We do not have any permities at all, hence why I feel like this is gonna be one of those where it sits very close to the plane of the head. And this is the kind of style that you want, really, to do that because it's it's a bob, kind of a longer bob, a little shaggy, which I love. But uh, yeah, machine wefted throughout there. We've got the extended nape with the really soft sort of uh, felt. Uh, we do not have any vertical stays back here at all. That's unusual. We also have metals. We do have metal stays. However, they're very, very weak. We'll see how that works. But super soft material here, which cuts down on itching. And then we have this lace front. This is definitely a temple to temple lace front. I mean, that, that goes down to the middle of this ear tab or temple tab so this is definitely a true temple to temple lace front the straps by the way are the velcro straps and in case you're brand new to wigs and you don't know what the heck i'm talking about back here that just means that you can sort of take it in a half inch on each side to make it a little bit tighter for you or you can take it out up to a half inch on each side okay if you a reminder for you, Ellen Villa is a European brand and European brands always run smaller. Their averages always are smaller than non-European brand wigs. So because of that, this fits me really well <laughs> because I tend to be more of sort of an average petite. I always pull out some of my own hair here on the side. You don't have hair here, no biggie, it's all right. You can always try shading a little with some root powder if you kind of want to try to get a little bit more of a natural hairline. But let me tell you something. The cool thing about Temple to Temple lace fronts is that honestly, it sort of does that for you. So I've mentioned this just recently. If you are completely bald, you do not have any hair there to, to pull out, look for the temple to temple lace fronts because lace fronts, hold on, I need to get my mirror a little closer to me. Lace fronts 
give the illusion that the each little hair is growing just right out of your own scalp. So this, this is a very pretty, very pretty lace front. So this lace goes all the way, all the way to here. So all the way down there, it's going to look like it's just growing right out of your scalp all the way to that point and then you know well that's this is my hair but if I didn't have any hair you know these are sewn in to to kind of go straight down so it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous but if you still feel like you want a little bit more uh, shading in there you can use a root powder even if you don't have any hair and just soften it with your finger don't go crazy it just creates sort of an illusion and that's all you need is a split second of an illusion and and that's all it takes and it's just something that i like to do to boost my confidence when i'm i'm wearing a wig so i probably would put some just right through here not to let's see that's where that lace front is but my hair grows out all the way to here so i don't have much hair I probably could get away with not doing this with this particular color but I'm gonna do it anyway so I use root powder and it's called root powder I have it in dark brown it seems to work pretty well with all my rooted blondes it comes with a stippling brush and all I'm just I'm just gonna do just a little bit very lightly see that root color I think it'll it'll blend nicely so just really softly, I'm gonna put it right here. And then I'm gonna take my finger and just kind of soften it up. And that's it. Even though this is fitting me really nice, the ear tabs still come down. Oh, I think I'm a little bit crooked. That could be part of the issue. Yeah, that's better. But the ear tabs for me still come down pretty low. Probably, yeah, they come right here, which is a little bit lower than the tip of my ear. Um, yeah. So here's the side that I did a little bit of the shading and I didn't do any of that here on this side. And you can tell that I don't know it just it gives a little bit more of a softer edge between the wig line and then my my skin okay let me part this get that zigzag part out of there here it's not a very generous middle part really at all so this is this is it right here so it's not gonna be too much of a variance. I do like a bit of an off center. Now I would definitely have to do a little heat if I wanted to mess with that. But I'm gonna be honest with you, it's not that big of a difference, so why fight it, <laughs> you know? So I think we're just gonna sort of like let this go where it is meant to be and where it is so we don't have to fight with that so yeah there's just not a lot of play in this particular one this color is is stunning as you saw it is a little brighter even than the shaded biscuit shaded biscuits definitely it's kind of beigeier it's more of like a beige blonde it's beautiful it's one of my favorite blondes this one is definitely brighter it also is a little more dynamic with your highlights and lowlights. It is absolutely stunning, beautiful. And I love my Shaded Biscuit as well, as you know. Let me go ahead and do a spin for you so you can see what this looks like all the way around.
So I went like this because I actually have like a little bun and I didn't bother taking it out. So it's really making this poof out back here. I don't know if you saw that. I wouldn't do that if I was actually gonna wear this wig out. So right here, I'm gonna show you again. Yeah, because <clears throat> this this definitely sits very nicely to the plane of the head all the way around. So you're getting this very, very realistic look here. And the other thing, let me back up and put this up just a little bit. The other thing as well is that while this is definitely a straight, blunt sort of bob we have going here, we still have the wisp out ends, which gives you a little bit more movement, but I love that. I love that there's the tiniest bit of layering here at the very bottom, you know, kind of all the way around. I also like that this is not sort of one of those A-line type of styles because all that heaviness is right here and it constantly, constantly is falling in the face. They're not my favorite styles. They look great for photo ops, you know, and you know, if you're gonna be like in a wedding and, and you're taking lots of pictures and you can get it to look great. But other than that, they really can drive you crazy. Let me just kinda comb through this. I knew this was gonna be kind of a fast one because it is sort of a no-brainer. It is, it is really pretty. And uh, it's a very sleek, easy kind of wear, you know? It's very traditionally beautiful. It is, looks great when you're dressed up or when you're casual. The fibers are gorgeous very realistic fibers. I really kind of want to train these fibers to make sure they're going to be going back. Little heat, just the heat, body heat from the fingers, just kind of do that. The other thing, you can use a hot airbrush. Just keep it moving. Spritz a little bit of heat protectant on it. John Renault makes a great heat protectant. And that way it just kind of trains them, you know, to, to kind of go back and they won't be so apt to just kind of wanting to fall in your face. But I would have to wear this out in the real world for a day to tell you if the style works for me. Meaning, does it drive me crazy? <laughs> you know, is it falling in my face all day? Because of kind of this low density, tucking it behind your ear, not a problem. Sometimes wigs, even though I am a tucker and I will tuck any wig, some of them are harder to do than others or they're constantly falling out because I do without thinking about it uh, because they're, they have, you know, the density is a little bit more than this one. This one, um, no problem, no problem tucking. Yeah, geez, that's my gray hair right there. It actually kind of blends okay, doesn't it? <laughs> so if you have, you know, white or gray hair right there, you're starting to get that. Um, it blends pretty well whereas this one I have I have some of the uh, you know root powder but I still would want to put some root powder right in through here because my hair grows out all the way to here kind of like I did a little bit right through there but um, yeah the ear tabs are behaving I was a little worried about that because those metal stays weren't the strongest um, again there's no metal stays back here to pinch I mean, this is gorgeous. This really is. If you're looking for just a very simple, easy wear where you're not. Now, I would hairspray this. I still would hairspray this because it helps with the flyaways. And if you're not into hairspray, you could consider some of the... John Renault makes this spray gel. You can just spray it or you can even just put it in your hand, you know, spray it in the palm of your hand and then just kind of run it through a few times. Spray gel can help with flyaways as well. Nothing is going to appease it for the whole day. Nothing is going to do that. Um, it's going to behave itself probably for a couple hours and then you might have to, 
you know, if you're still out and about, you might have to do something or just deal with it because I have not found anything that works great. I always bring a little thing of hairspray with me. I usually have big purses and, you know, I'll just do that sometimes if it's driving me nuts and I'm doing errands, I'll just do it real quickly in the car. Just like, okay, you're driving me nuts. Um, and that seems to work okay. So, yeah. This is Drive by Ellen Villa in the gorgeous color, Pearl Blonde Rooted. And you know, I love this color so much that it makes me want to look at all of her choices that come in this color. Sometimes that's the way it works, is I'll find a color and it makes me reach out more to the brand and, and you know, investigate their styles because I fell in love with a color in their line. You know, most of the time it's the other way around. I fall in love with their designs and their fibers and the fit, and I will then, you know, keep searching for a color I like. This is one of those things that's like, my Lord, I love this color so much. I have to have it in, in some other styles. Let's take a look now at the second wig that we have. And I'm very excited about this, and I'm also a little nervous because this has a built-in heavy bang. I am not a bang girl. I should be because I have a tall forehead, but I'm not. And I think it's just because my whole life, really, I I have too thin of hair to, to really make a good bang, unless it was in the 80s. And then the whole, I mean, you can use, I had more hair then, but it was also very fine. But the 80s was its own, own thing. You know, hairspray, just... Whew. All right, are you ready for this? We're taking a look at Raquel Welch's Influencer Inspo. And this is in the color Shaded Biscuit. Let's take a look at the cap first. This is very similar to what we just looked at, but let's point out some of the differences. So this, this one also has a middle part, but it is very generous for a middle part. This does not have a lace front. It does have like a silicone bit here, and that is if you are just don't have any hair, that just actually grips really nicely. If you have hair, obviously this, this isn't gonna be useful in that particular way. Okay, and we do have a little bit, usually this type of look here means there's permatease in there. And if there is, it must be very little because I'm not feeling it. This is a machine wefted cap with the silicone stripping here, which again is a good grip. I find that this is even, I think because I have such fine hair, that this actually does grip even through my hair. We do not have an extended nape down here, but it still is this really soft, you know, still that soft uh, material there. This is the Velcro pulls here on the side. So obviously we do not have metal stays back here because we don't have that extended nape. And we have the ear tabs, again with that felt, very soft. And we have the metal stays here on the side, which are medium. Yeah, they're, they're gonna be okay. So quickly, look at this, full bang. Now I do have a tall forehead, but we'll see if this needs to be trimmed even with my tall forehead. Some of you don't have tall foreheads at all, but you, you're gonna love this style and you're gonna wanna try it. So you could either take it to someone who feels very comfortable and has some experience with wigs and trim it. They'll trim that for you to make it work for you. You know, or if it's something that you've done before and you're comfortable with, you might have to trim this up to work for you because obviously one size does not fit all when it comes to bangs. But these are full bangs for sure. I'm loving, again, there's some light layering here at the very end, kind of a little bit wisped out. The density in this one also feels very, very good. That's great. Okay. Yeah, these are these are long and I you know, I'm pretty sure I am sure they did that on purpose because they know that they have to go longer rather than shorter. 
So when you're dealing with a non-lace front here, you're going to want to kind of take a look at it, mm -hmm. find find your own hairline, move it back so you can see where your hair is actually growing out, and then just fold it down. You don't want it to sit too far forward, and then also obviously you don't want it to sit too far back. I have this crooked, and... Okay, so yes, these these will need to be trimmed. They will need to be trimmed even on me, my tall forehead. But I think it's going to be super cute when they do, you know, I don't know. I think I'm going to like it. I did they just need to be shorter for me okay so let me let me kind of I feel like I'm still a little crooked no so here is that monofilament it is very pretty looks like scalp I'm just gonna see if I can get away with a little bit gosh that is really generous you have all the way to here and all the way to there where you really can play with this again heat will probably be in order to get it to to do what you want that is to be expected and you know what it's not going to want to do that right now i'm going to get <laughs> i feel like i can't see anything it's been a while since I've talked about hot air brushes and I will put the link to the one that I found on Amazon that fit the criteria um, and because they don't make the one that I have anymore. So let me go get mine and I will be right back. All right, so this is a Helen of Troy hot air brush and fortunately they don't make this anymore. So the only difference between the one that I found on Amazon is it's black and it's not a Helen of Troy. I think it's called Hot Tools or something like that. And the barrel isn't quite this big. It's one and a half inch, which you're not going to notice any difference at all. As a matter of fact, the one and a half inch probably will work better for you because it's not like you're going to get actual curl as more of you're going to be getting more of a directional thing and more of a lift. So if this was a little smaller, you know, I might actually be able to put more of a bend to it. Not a bend, but you know what I'm talking about. So what you want to look for in your hot air brush if you're, you know, you don't shop on Amazon or something is you want the cheap ones, okay? You don't want ceramic. You don't want the metal. You just want plastic because the ceramic and the metal uh, just get way too hot, even for heat-friendly fibers. So you want plastic. That's why they're the, usually the cheap ones. And these things here, you want them to be plastic. You don't want the ones that have several, like, bristles, like brush. Bristles in each thing. This is just one plastic thing in each thing. And that's because you run something like that over and over through these delicate fibers it's gonna break them down and it's just not a good thing so really that that's all you need to look for and yes it's nice to have like low and high but the air on these never gets really hot and i do mine on high on the high speed yeah they it just never gets really hot you have to keep it moving all the time though you don't just want to just it's not like a curling iron where you're just going to have a sit there you got to keep it moving because then it will ruin your fibers the cool thing about these though and they come in handy is that you can also use this on your synthetic fibers that aren't heat friendly and that is a great bonus especially if you're dealing with bangs or something like that or you're just having something funky go on and you don't have the time to see if it's going to go away do this but before you add any kind of heat even if it's something gentle like this you definitely should use a heat protectant on your fibers i love this one because it doesn't like i don't know sometimes they will sort of what's the word not muck up but 
I don't know. I just like this one. It, it keeps the fiber soft and shiny, so it doesn't, you know, kind of take that away. You don't need a lot of this, though, but definitely, definitely use a heat protectant anytime you use heat on your fibers. So, you know what? Let's just, I mean, this is going to be too, too long for me anyway. But before I do a spin, let's just see if I can just at least give it a little bit of lift. I love how I wish this did work for me because I I'm I did such a good job so anyway I'm gonna plug this in I am gonna use the heat protectant again it's not like you need a ton I'm gonna put this on high Also, you have to remember that you have to cold set these fibers before they will curl for you or take on a new shape of any kind. So if we want this to kind of hold on, we're going to have to hold it there for a bit. Just kind of let it... Sorry, my dogs are barking at this. Stop. I will edit out their barking. Trying to let it get cool. I know one thing, when I do trim these a little, I've got to make sure that I do more of a point cut, lift it a little bit, like 45, because I do want some of that wispy layers that they have here. But I'm not going to touch this length at all. Probably won't even touch this. It's going to be just kind of the center area, maybe the tiniest bit on each side. And I like my bangs to be long, so I do, you know, they're probably going to cover my eyebrows even uh, when they're trimmed. They just need, because I love this line here, so it's really just kind of these here. And I, you always want to cut them longer than you think you need because, you know, you're going to want it to kind of lift a little bit. So I would just literally just, just about this to here, to here. That's just the tippiest tips that I would need to do, and then um, I think we'd be okay. Yeah, because I, I like the almost curtain bang thing that's going on there. I think okay. I would have to do this a little more to get it to do what I wanted it to do it worked a little bit okay so let me go ahead though and show you what this looks like all the way around and I put a little bit in front here and then we're gonna kind of style it a little bit because I want to I want these fibers kind of a little bit more up and off um, this so let me do a spin There's a lot 
lot to see, a lot to do. Recently, I've realized I like doing it all with you. Take my hand. Okay, yes, I am dying to get some hairspray in here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the Control by Hair You Wear. This is an aerosol hairspray. It's kind of my favorite. And it has, you can control, hence the name. You can control how much product you want to come out. There's low, medium, and high. So if you want just a little product, you would make that adjustment. I have mine set on medium. I'm going to move back a bit here. Okay. Oh gosh, this is bringing back 80s vibes. Maybe even 90s. No, this is 80s. But in a fabulous way. Truly. Truly fabulous. Now, these are meant to be bangs, and I really do want to do that. I, I would wear this full-on bangs. And I think, I really think it's gonna be cute. The density of this wig is amazing. Very low density, which is great because this is a longer wig. It's not terribly long, but it's nice to not feel so heavy. So because I don't have these cut yet, we're just going to have to make do with what we got going here. I think probably another run through with that brush would probably get these to lift up for now. Just it worked a little, but yeah, just, just a little bit, just a little bit. That would be great. And because of how uh, low density this one is, super easy to tuck behind the ear. Um, yeah, it's just this density is great. It really is. They nailed it. And you know, I find that Raquel Welch, their team understands that with especially their long wigs. Um, this one too, right to the plane of the head. I'm not feeling any permatease at all, at all. Um, and if there is, it's got to be so small that it's virtually undetectable. So uh, I love this. I love this one so much more than I thought I was. And I think just with a little bit of tipping just to get, you know, taking into consideration that I'm still going to want to work with this a little bit. But um, it doesn't need much for me, you know, because again, I do have a taller forehead. I could see where... You know, those of you who don't particularly have a, a larger forehead would definitely need to get these trimmed. But uh, don't overlook it, that's for sure. This is this is really cute. I just, I, the length isn't too much. It's not overbearing. I feel very comfortable in this particular length. Um, of course, this is Shaded Biscuit and it's gorgeous. This is a heat friendly fiber, by the way, so you could put curl in it, although I, I love the way it is right now. I do. I think, um, yeah, I, I, I like it. It's, it's done very well. Again, this isn't all one length. We have, you know, these layers all through, just very, you know, kind of wisping out those ends which again just so realistic this is one that you could very very easily get back get some really pretty face framing kind of tendrils that they have here 
you can put it in one clip back here if you wanted and do that what a fun fun how fun wow so yes this is definitely very very easily because that's those layers are much longer you know as they get back here so definitely have enough for that you could even do an actual ponytail back here and what I do because now my hair has grown out is I actually take my actual hair out of whatever it is I have going on back there and then I brush it kind of into the wig when I do ponytails I can't see what's going on back there um, and it works really well uh, doing it that way I usually take my nape hair completely out before I even get my wig on if I know I'm gonna wear it like that this one would make an adorable adorable just full-on ponytail and if you do not have any hair to pull out here in the back that's okay I recommend taking kind of tendrils of make a messy ponytail kind of thing and take tendrils out from the wig and then when you get your ponytail where you want it I would kind of just make it so it's not super sleek and tight and just pull it a little bit to disguise that wig line back there it is very very easy and it works wonders <laughs> this one is um, I think has a lot of fabulous fabulous options to do yeah I could even do my traditional thing I just would have the the poof a little further back and uh, you know how I like to do my 90s poof and I could do that kind of make the poof a little further back this could be a great wedding hair as well and then I could either just tuck both sides or even clip this the density of this wig I think I would just tuck both sides and then have my my little 90s poof with the cute little bangs that remind me of Goldie Hawn does this not remind you of Goldie Hawn I love her um and how freaking cute is this oh my god I am the longer I have this wig on them the more I am loving it oh I do I love this I do so exciting when you find something that you really love and you weren't expecting it at all now I wear glasses lately I've been trying to wear my contacts more but I do wear glasses and this is where bangs can really play havoc when you're a glasses wearer and it does so yeah I think I would definitely have to wear contacts when I wear this particular style but um, very, very pleasantly surprised. I actually really love this one. Well done, Raquel Welch. Yeah, the density on both of these wigs are great. Uh, I wanna say this one even feels even a little less, even though it's longer. Uh, but both of them are definitely less density wigs than the average, both of these styles. And uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to sign off. Had so much fun showing you guys these two. Again, this one is in Shaded Biscuit. And it's called Influencer Inspo. And the other one is by Ellen Villa from their Perucci collection. And it is called Drive in the Color Pearl Blonde Rooted, which is stunning. Gorgeous temple to temple lace front in this both of these wigs are quite comfortable and I love both of them this this was a double good this was a double good one um hi <laughs> I really love both of these I have to say this one has got a little something something extra that I am loving okay I'm I'm for sure gonna sign off and I hope you found this helpful and I hope you found it fun and I am gonna see you guys very soon in my next one Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.